Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka DV Trugan Gamer, and I'm here with a new unboxing video. Uh, wow, this time I'm doing Wingspan. This is designed by Elizabeth or Elizabeth Hargrave, uh, illustrated by Natalia Rojas, Ana Maria Martinez, Jaramillo, and Beth Sobel. Why do I mention the artist? Because this game looks gorgeous. As you can already see by the cover. This is by Stonemaier Games. Uh, well, the publisher that brought you Sight, Viticulture and other awesome games. Well, I'm not a fan of Sight, you know that maybe, but uh, still, it's a very well-renowned publisher. So, I got this early because I decided to become a Stonemaier champion, which means you pay some money uh, and then you get some games earlier you can pre-order them and shipping is cheaper I probably still may uh, spend more money in total for now but maybe something interesting will show up in the next couple of months uh, that might still make me win some money we'll see anyway wingspan uh, is this game it is uh, what they call an engine building game set collection a little bit um, about birds about birds you're a bird enthusiast birds researchers but watchers ornithologists and collectors and uh, well the box says that you are trying to get them to your Avery uh, which they are going to change I think in new versions in new editions because actually you're not putting them in your Avery it's just in your nature park thing stuff anyway let's get this thing opened there we go wingspan all right so what do we have here so first what we see is the appendix so and the rule book and a ultima booklet this is sad, of course, that it's not that nice in the box. And you know why it's sad? Oh, oh crap, this, this kind of sucks, right? Oh, <laughs> don't like it. Um, anyway, uh, let's just look past through this and let's talk about the other things about these rule books. This paper, and you probably cannot see it, but maybe you hear it it's uh, it's linen finished which should be great quality if it weren't completely messed up inside the box uh, this one this one is okay as you can see this uh, appendix gives you an overview of every bird in there and I think also the end of round goals that you can have this is how the Ultima works. You, if you can play this solo, and if you play solo, you're playing the, against an Ultima player. And then you have the rulebook itself, which <laughs> has a lot of images as well. It is quite a straightforward game how it plays, but uh, there we go. Okay, so that's what's inside, uh, well, that's uh, the paper inside of this box. Now, as you can see this is filled with goodness so let's start with cards let's start with cards now this game if I'm not mistaken uh, and I can cheat a little bit here because it's here has 170 unique bird cards with all their own name and their own picture on it uh, all different birds and I think they're all birds that live in North America and there may, might be planning future expansions, small ones, with birds from other areas. So as you can see, every bird is different. Okay, and these are birds. So probably these are all birds, these two more packages. Uh, and these are uh, gold cards, secret objectives that you can have. And there, as you can see, are a bunch of them as well. And they look like this on the other side. And these are the Ultima cards, which you're going to use. Uh, there are some more birds here, uh, which you're going to use when playing solo with the Ultima variant. And more birds here, as you can see, and very beautiful. Let me show you from closer. There you go, the bald eagle 
a wood stork and so on 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 so <laughs> there's a lot in this in this game a lot of different birds that's for sure all right what's next uh let's go to this this is a game tray i'm not sure if it's from game trays but anyway this is a container first of all that you can open i guess uh, let me open this there we go so you can store your cards here if you want and i probably will do so but also you're going to use this to in during the game to put your bird cards on like so there are always three birds in display so when you choose to get a bird you can either choose one of these or one from the face down pile and well it is cool it it's clear you can even pass this around if you want so pretty neat uh, to have in such a game it's a, a huge production now the cat that doesn't come into the game it's a little bit too uh, dangerous for the birds I assume this is the end of round scoring board so there will be end of round uh, scoring possibilities and you can play two uh, in two ways either to have the most so whoever has most scores the most points each round for a different objective or you can play the little bit easier way um, less gamery where you just score for every one of the objectives so for each one you have to score an extra point with a maximum of five it's a little bit more gentle but you can choose is all your thing a bunch of bags that we can use and then we have this bag filled with eggs all eggs as you can see and in different colors now the colors don't mean anything um, maybe who knows in future expansions they will mean anything but I'm not sure but look these are cool little eggs that you can place and they have a flat bottom so you can place them and they look like cute little eggs they cannot be eaten so don't <laughs> uh, don't let them wander around if you have children they look like candy and also don't let them hang around when you have pets I guess because they might want to eat them as well we have some small containers that you can use to put these eggs in which is pretty cool I like this a lot that uh, that this comes in the game uh, inside of the box uh, I'm sh I'll just have to figure out how to open this there we go and you can place the eggs in here if you want so that's cool I really like that there are containers included then maybe I don't even need uh, the little bags all right what else do we have here and there's four of them as you can see four of these stone wire con plastic containers then we have cubes 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 in five colors because there are f they can this can be played with five players elisa my wife will be happy that she can choose to be purple all right what else do we have we have dice five of them and these are the i don't know how they're called food dice or let me see if i can cheat a little bit where's our dice five custom wooden dice yeah but they depict the different kinds of food that these birds might want to eat and that you can get and those are uh, tokens where are those bird tokens probably lower here i will have to punch them a scoreboard here for at the end of the game which in comparison to everything else here in the box with the linen finish rule book even and all that jazz the tray and and you will see the player board soon I'm surprised they didn't go for an erase erasable scoreboard like in Ex Libris for example uh, but went for the simple paper and not even double-sided which is sad but hey it will do right it's perfectly fine then we have five player boards so and I'm going to show you one of course because they're all the same but it, it's, it, it looks on the outside a little bit like a book a notebook uh, in which you are going to write everything you see while bird watching and oh let's open it the correct side and there you have the player board which looks very colorful 
and this is what you're going to work with you're, you're going to place your birds in these different kinds of spots depending on where they should go this one should go in the water area here like this and uh, you're going to place your cubes to activate these actions and activate the birds that are there there are different kinds of birds this one for example activates when you play it but you have birds that also let's see if i can find one oh I, they might be i think they're sorted in the box well for example this one is when activated and some have in between rounds actions uh which i cannot show you if, if unless i open these and they have they have a spelling mistake on them it says in between with three e's uh next to each other so in between but it's not a game breaker right so five player boards and then we have some cardboard and uh as you can see there is some assembling to do and uh, well and some trying to get this stuff out of the box to do as well so let's do this like this so what do we have here we have a bunch of tokens these are the food tokens cardboard um, a lot of people were already asking if there were upgraded components for this wooden or something like that i think there will be third parties doing stuff like that but uh stonemeyer wasn't planning to do uh, them themselves uh, first player marker which is a huge one <laughs> and these are the uh, end of round bonus tiles the goals that you want to achieve so punch boards uh, and this is the bird feed the bird feeder uh, dice tower and uh, well i will be right back because it gives you the instructions how to put this together and so I'll be right back and let's hope I can do this. And ta-da! All right, so uh, this is the bird house dice tower thing. Um, and it, you throw them in a the bag and it goes like this. I wasn't the most handy one putting this together, although it's not that hard. Uh, I was. I was messing around with the roof here, but it all worked out fine. It works perfectly and it is a cool feature of this game. This cardboard dice tower, a lovely thing. It will, it will definitely be an eye catcher on the table. Now, the side of this box shows you how to put everything back in the box, I think. So that's cool as well. That does, there aren't that many things that do that like this. And here we have the play testers and stuff like that. So that's cool to have it on the outside of the, of the inner box. All right, so uh, yeah, folks, that's it. That's all I can show you for now. This was the unboxing and I'm trying to show you the box again. This was the unboxing of Wingspan, the, a game by birds. And well, I'm going to try to read the rules and maybe in the near future there will be a playthrough, a solo playthrough or maybe a two player playthrough if Elisa wants to do so. We'll see. But anyway, this was Wingspan the unboxing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon and bye bye.